yeah, it's raining. Gotta go. Thanks for watching. coming today from the Lynn Cove Viaduct in North Carolina right off of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Here's the visitor center for the Lynn Cove Viaduct and they've got some porta potty bathrooms over here on the side but you can come up the Blue Ridge Parkway here and park at this visitor center used bathroom and then take this trail right here, which is what I am about to do. As soon as you get on the trail here, it really just turns into a just a magnificent green jungle. And uh, I mean, just look, trees, it's significantly cooler up here. In fact, an hour from here, I believe it was 83 degrees. And up here, it's about 68 degrees, so about a 15 degree drop we're uh over 4,000 feet elevation up here I believe it's around 4,300 feet and uh, they got a nice little paved walking trail here as you can see right here behind me really nice and peaceful out here but my plan is to get over here to the Lynn Cove viaduct get up close to it and hopefully go underneath it, walk underneath it, and kind of just see how it sits there and how it's constructed. So, let's do it. Got some water draining down here. I tell you what, on a really, really hot day, this is quite a break from the heat. Now today is kind of an overcast day anyways, but oh, it's just so nice to not be in the sun and 90 plus degrees. It is really nice out here, no humidity and just the greenery everywhere. Look at all these things right here growing. And you gotta be careful. You gotta watch your step here. But the trail is good. It's not really too much of an incline it's fairly level so shouldn't be too difficult for most people okay so walking up the trail here i'm getting my first view of the viaduct that's actually the underside of it there that's the bottom of the roadway up there And you can even see it better from here. So let's check that out. That is a lot of concrete. So there you go, that's the Lynn Cove viaduct. That's the roadway. Now this is the tail end of it. I can see up here where it kind of curves around and that's the uh, that's the really the part that it's known for the way it curves and kind of hugs the outer edge of the mountain so they've actually got an observation deck for viewing the bridge construction which is exactly why I came up here directly underneath the Lynn Cove viaduct here. That should make it really easy from the visitor center. Paved trail and got some steps right here. There's a great view of the roadway right there. Very cool. Now the question is, which way do we go here? I'm just gonna follow these 
steps right here. They come right on down. Okay, so walking the trail here, getting a little steep, but the trail is clearly marked. You can tell where the steps are. And now we're getting more level with the roadway. And I am already out of breath. All right, I see some little trail trailheads up there. It says closed trail or trail closed. But so far, the path is uh, fairly easy and pretty recognizable. Just gotta watch your steps here. Now this is quite an interesting structure here. This rock is pretty massive and it's just, it's just leaning against this solid slab of, of granite or whatever this is. And that's interesting there. There's a piece of that rock that looks like it, it could just fall right off. But I'm sure it's been here a long, long time. And I'm gonna make our way right through here. This isn't too bad. Hopefully it won't rain. Now you gotta be careful. If you fall, you're gonna have a little bit of a drop off here. All right, so now we're at the top. Came from down in there and there is the roadway. So that's the viaduct right there. So you can see traffic going right behind me there. Roadway is literally right there. And that's where the trail goes. I'd like to get under the roadway again, maybe maybe further down here, but this is a really cool spot. It's, uh, it, it's, it's quite a drop off down there now. You do not want to fall down there. In fact, there is a hole uh, yeah, there's a hole right down there that does not look like that would be a good place to be. This rock right here is pretty huge. Okay, let's continue. All right, feels like I'm going through the jungle here. All right, you can actually see the cars going through right there. Okay, that's good. Get stepped up here. Starting to go uphill again. Okay, so, thinking we're gonna go this way. These rocks are just crazy. I really don't like being underneath this right here just look at this like this is like a dark cave back here i cannot imagine being out here at night it's kind of dark back here in the middle of the day okay let's see let's keep on going here And wow, up behind me, that's just like super, super tall rock. I climbed up on top of this huge rock right here. And you can really see the roadway good now. It's right in there. Pretty good view from up here. Crazy how they have built this viaduct here to go on the side of the mountain like this. Look at that massive concrete column right there. One of the main bridge supports. Oh, 
Okay, there's another great shot of the bridge support and the actual roadway. Got a nice little wood walkway here. Eh, little, little rickety here. I can hear traffic driving right over that. Look at this wall, this just complete slab of rock right here. Looks like we've had some trees cut down here. Something fell or was cut down. Wow, that is tall. If you do get tired, there are plenty of places along this trail to just stop and take a break. I've seen a few people out here, it's not too busy. But uh, yeah, lots of places to just sit down and take a break for a minute or two. And it's a pretty cool little trail here. You can see the traffic going by. Okay, so we walked a pretty good ways, ended up parking the car and driving to the other end of the viaduct and parked the car again here. And uh, now we're going to go walk on the opposite end and get up and close and personal with this viaduct. When you park over here at the opposite side, visitor center is, it's way on the other end. That's where I started. Now we are on the opposite side at the Overlook parking and I've got this nice narrow trail right alongside the parkway here. And I wish it was a clearer day. It's, it's a little overcast and hazy out here. In fact, I feel some raindrops right now, unfortunately. If you come out here on a nice clear day, the view is just stunning. I mean, you can see it's it's beautiful even right now, but it's just a, a cloudy day. And if you look way out there, you can see part of the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway that you drive in on. Hopefully I'm not about to get rained on here. Getting closer here, you can see the viaduct as it hangs the side of the uh, mountain up here. That's the beauty of it. They had to just kind of attach it to the side of the mountain instead of going through the mountain. Just look at the view up here. Okay, so pedestrians are prohibited on the actual roadway from this point on. This is where the viaduct starts. So there is no, there's no sidewalk, no shoulder. You cannot be anywhere on this roadway. But there is this trail right here. This is pretty cool. This little very narrow trail. Look at the stonework here. But this little trail right here comes right down underneath the bridge. So earlier we were, I don't know where we were, we were way, way out there somewhere. Now there's a car coming by. Let's see, see how loud this is as the car comes by. Not too bad. Got a little bit of graffiti out here, unfortunately. Okay, so kids figured it out before I did. Just come around here and slide right through here. And here we are. All right, so 
this is a this concrete gear and there is all kinds of stuff up under here a little bit steep wow graffiti everywhere you go it's a shame okay so what, there's a hole right here that must be some kind of that's probably drainage or something like that got some more graffiti up here Hopefully nothing bad. All right, so I, uh, let me see if I can do this. Okay, so I'm, I'm standing straight up. I'm right at my head here and I'm just about ne nearly six feet tall, just under. And uh, ooh, though, if I get too far here, I will bump my head. Pretty cool though. Under the Lynn Cove Viaduct, walking under here and it's such a shame there are there's spray paint cans i see food wrappers uh more more graffiti i don't know why people have to deface things it's a beautiful structure just look look how far look how flat and smooth it is it's a beautiful structure and they people bring their trash down here a towel here and there's a uh, cup spray paint can and I'll tell you what if I had a trash bag with me right now I would grab all of this okay so a little steep oh, we got more more graffiti apparently apparently Daniel loves Adriana and uh, some other stuff I'm not going to show. Okay, so let's see if I can get up here. This looks, whoa, this looks a little steep. I don't know that I can do this, actually. Let's see. Okay, I did it. I have a backpack on, so. Okay, now if I climb up here. Okay. There we go. I am now eye level with the roadway again. So been both ends, end to end here, and uh, actually gotten right up under it and was able to touch it. I think that's gonna do it. So coming to you from the Banner Elk area of North Carolina, this is sort of near Boone, Blowing Rock on the Blue Ridge Parkway, right behind me, the Lynn Cove Viaduct. Pretty amazing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Well, it's raining. Luckily, well, it's raining pretty good, actually. I'm not gonna say lucky anything. At least there's not lightning and thunder. But uh, yeah, it's raining. Gotta go. Thanks for watching.